Yo, crypto nation and mining family. Crypt crypto nation and mining family. What's going on? And of course, like always, it's not financial advice. Yo. Yo, Crypto Nation and Mining Family, what's going on out there, guys? So, today is Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. Um, if you guys haven't been paying attention to anything, um, you will have noticed that your profitability has become marginal on your altcoins, right, guys? So, like myself, I don't know about you, but you know, I come up over to here and I see, oh my God, it's all red. Game over, sell it all. No, just kidding. <laughs> so, um, yes, we're having a red day. Do I really particularly care? No, I'm a hodler. And if I'm not hodling, busy bit, I'm hodling some GPU, so I will basically trade my busy bit for some GPUs. Yo! Um, so, with the market coming down like this, and if you see, there are some that are pumping a little bit. Uh, Bitcoin SV's got a little bit of a pumpage going on, but they've got their own exchange going on too, so. Uh, but, and then if you look at that Lizzie Litecoin, it's just kind of going down too, but all the, the whole market pretty much is, except for a couple of weird ones, Unis, S-E-L-E-O. I have no idea about this one. Never seen or heard of it. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's what crypto is all about. You're going to see protocols popping up out of nowhere, having unusual run-ups, and then they duff. But if as a miner, <clears throat> I'm sitting here constantly looking at places where I can help calculate what would be most profitable for my GPUs. Um, and that's where I come over to something like this, guys. What to mine. This is one of many places that you can go. I will leave links down to this one down below, of course. Um, so what to mine, you can plug in, you can put in your GPU. Um, you can set the amount of electricity that you're paying per kilowatt hour. So I'm at nine cents a kilowatt hour just below the national average. Um, but sometimes you have to, to shop around. Um, so definitely guys, if you are paying high electricity, I would be sitting there trying to shop around. Bargain shopping is most appreciated. So you'll also notice that I've got two instances, two tabs of what to mine open. You're like, why do you have that open twice? Well, actually I've got GPU selected here so here I've got eight RX 580 these are the Asus Strix edition so they've got good cooling solutions on them triple fans boom and then over here I've got 1080 Ti's these are the uh, gigabyte gamer X's triple fans so kind of pitting apples to apples for the most part you know two different companies but triple van fan variants um to see sit there and see what would be most profitable for my gpus so i plugged in eight eight ten eight uh 1070 ti's i plugged in my uh cost of electricity i hit calculate and you scroll down a little bit here and you start getting into all the different coins that are best suited for your GPU. Now, if you see this, the first coin that pops up is now Ryo. Um, and that's on uh, the Kryptonite GPU algorithm. So it is a Monero um, forked algorithm. So it's all built around privacy and all that good stuff. But look at that. After you factor in electricity, guys, it is making 279 a day, guys. Hey, GPU rig making 279 a day. That's really not too bad, considering that's above the electric price. So anything that's above the electric price is a good thing. Um, you know, a, a Satoshi earned today was more Satoshis you earned than you had yesterday. 
that's just my viewpoint on it so here it is it's time for testing yo so then I come up over onto my RX 580s and you scroll down and you'll notice that to this day Ethereum Ethereum Classic and mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic on NiceHash is some of the more profitable ways of doing this. Now, this is actually a really good one. The trail answer, just a little little side note, guys. Just a little one. So, if you see here, if I mine directly Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, this is for all of you people out there that are mining off of NiceHash and you're like, ah, I'm not worried about it. Not worried about it, don't care. I'm just going to leave it on nice hash, and I'm going to just forget about it. It's just going to mine away. Well, here we go. So Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, if I mine them directly with an 8 GPU rig, I make $1.45 a day. Not bad, right? You go on a nice hash with all their fees, their conversions, all that stuff, you're now getting paid $1.35 in busy bit. Now, granted, you're making Bitcoin. You're not you're not having to convert your Ethereum or Ethereum Classic into Bitcoin. It's just automatically given to you. But you're losing ten cents in the process. If I convert it manually, I'm not going to lose ten cents. I'm going to lose a little bit through the miner fee, but not ten cents. Uh, no, that's to me that's not acceptable. Um, you do you if you're scaling up. And you have a lot of GPUs, 10 cents here, 10 cents there, a dollar here, a dollar there. It adds up. You gotta think of this like a business, guys. So if you're sitting there leaving 10 cents on the table every time you walked away, that would be like sitting there and giving a tip to every single person you ever encounter in your life. You are not going to make it very far. That's just my opinion. So definitely got to sit there and think about where you are mining to guys um, if you are not technically savvy where you know mining to nice hash is the best option for you because you've got a PC but you don't know how to set the configuration files uh, this that and the other definitely you know go on the nice hash it will be a easy way for you to set up a good way for a beginner to start. Um, for the people who are above the beginners, you can see here, clear as day, there is a difference between nice hash and mining directly to your own wallet. So there you go for that. But getting back on topic here, for my 580s, it says that Ethereum and Ethereum Classic are more profitable then if I were to come down and try to mine on that Kryptonite GPU for Ryo coin, not Rito coin, Ryo. Um, so on Ryo coin with eight GPUs after electric, so it, it's not losing money, but it's only making 50 cents a day. So you come up over here and you can you know you can sit there and search it out yourself if you'd like to Rio currency here we go and you can see what it's trading for right now it's less than uh, less than four cents so it's not like a huge you know you're gonna make it rich get rich off of it but but what's nice about it is that the network difficulty is low enough that you should be able to get some coinage off of this um, so, and then you could also, you know, I always suggest people to, if you're going to mine something speculatively, at least pop up onto their website, see what it's all about. What are they doing? What are they all, you know, do they have a white paper? Uh, I hate, I hate lights. Ah, oh my God. They got a dark theme on here. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> that screen was super bright. First thing in the morning, white light. Oh, um, but yeah. So I mean, they're talking about pr complete privacy coin, decentralization, anonymous, fungibility, easy to use. Um, their wallet was super simple to download, install. Um, took a you know 12 hours for it to sync up. 
after that it was pretty much easy to go this is not a core QT wallet guys that is one issue that I have with this coin so far um, I have the same issue with um, grin and beam for not having core QT wallets that's something that I cannot stand is whenever I cannot control the wallet myself from a developer point of view so if you want to make yourself a nano ledger s and make your own by purchasing one of these guys one of these you can sit there and make your own nano ledger s with one of these but you have to start off with a core qt wallet guys so um if the coin that you're looking at does not have a core qt wallet um, you're gonna have to figure out ways that they are storing it um, are they using nano ledger are they using a treasure are they using another wallet of some sort um, but for me like I said this one does not get the check off for being a good currency to me because it does not have a core QT wallet I'm not saying that this is a bad protocol or anything like that it's just not checking off one of my checklists so but the other thing that it does check off it, it is mineable um, that they, it is on a GPU mineable algorithm so they're trying to keep ASICs off of it um, no idea if there's any FPGAs on here um, <clears throat> but another thing that I do like on this and I will be testing it out later on of course guys is that through their wallet I'd show you their wallet and everything um, this is pretty much what it is right here and if you see how their example they got my well you can sit there and name your wallet whatever you want um, you know for me I just named it my uh, a test wallet one it's a test right for testing purposes um, so if you notice down here it's kind of hard to see but if you follow my cursor here if you see this this long set of letters and numbers and all that good stuff that's the main wallet address for this wallet um, I don't feel like showing my wallet address off <clears throat> even though it's public information blah 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 it's still something that I'm not wanting to disclose this is my wallet this is who I am and this is my wallet no not gonna do it guys so um, if you guys are wanting to mine this speculatively I'm not telling you to do so this is not financial advice um, but for an Nvidia this is a good speculative coin that it can definitely have an advantage on um, so like I was saying though if you come back into here it is not the most profitable coin on, uh, on on coin market checkup that's for sure I mean it's sitting at less than four cents a coin you come over to here and it's saying that I should only be making like 50 cents a day off of my uh, my AMD rig not the best right um, I'd be doing so much better if I was just doing it with my Nvidia rig now I know the Nvidia rig should be able to do this very well but I wanted to test out because of the fact that it is a Monero forked algorithm. I was seeing it how well the AMD would do on it first. You know, all that testing purposes. So I was going to do 24 hours of it mining with an AMD card. And then um, tonight I'm going to switch over and I'm going to put my NVIDIA rig on there. And we're going to see what the difference between the two are going to be on this. Um, I mean... This is how you do a heads up comparison. Which one really does perform better? And then, and then just to top it all off, I'll be able to see how far off what to mine thinks it really is gonna be, how profitable it is right now. So if I can get 24 hours on each, yo, check it out. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. And as you can see here, I've got my AMD on here and it's using XMR stack so it is you know you can tell everything says that this is a Monero fork 
uh, my hash rate off of my uh, my RX cards are that of as if it was mining on Monero itself. So, boom. Um, I'm able to do everything like it's Monero, including having my CPU mine on there. So, if you see the top bar here, um, this is my GPUs. These are the RX 580s on here, and they're getting 777.8 kilohashes a pop. Um, and it fluctuates around a little bit around but then you see this one and it's got an error on it why, why does it have an error I'll, I'll get to hit in a second so <clears throat> this is my CPU but not just any CPU guys dude guys check it out that CPU is an AMD Athlon 2 four core processor. This CPU is 13 years old. Dude, 13 years old. It was made before Bitcoin, guys. This thing doesn't have the, the, the fan output on there. I don't have like the world's best fan on there, but I got a big cooler on it. It's like a big stupid cooler. Um, <clears throat> almost don't even need the fan that's sitting on there that's how cool this cooler keeps the cpu itself so the it's does you know it's got a three prong fan on there so it doesn't know what the rpms of my fan is so that's why it's got an error on there but dude check it out a 13 year old cpu it's getting 2.82 hash a second on kryptonite gpu now you, you notice that it says G, Kryptonite GPU um, on the miner side from the, uh, the, uh, the mining pool. I have it on the CPU side of Kryptonite GPU. I know it sounds confusing, uh, but they have it split up to be GPUs here and CPUs go over here and they're mining on the same algorithm, but they're not directly competing with each other. So. The uh, difficulty rating on the CPU side will be a little less than it will be on the GPU side, just to keep fair mining, guys. <clears throat> I don't know how fair it is, but they're trying to keep it to where you don't have a huge <clears throat> advantage from one versus the other, guys. So come 11 o'clock tonight, I'm going to be seeing how much this has mined away, guys. Um, and your guys are wondering, well, what, what what pool are you on? What what pool are you on? So I came onto Rio uh, Minor Rocks. Um, so it, this is, you know, just a small uh, one of the bigger mining um, pools. Um, they had a bunch of people on there, and you can sit there and mine mining choices of three different ways. Okay, guys. So one. <clears throat> You got the more obvious way of doing it. You can solo mine, where you have your wallet and you have your miners and you are mining to your wallet. Your wallet validates and you get paid out when you hit a block. Um, then you can sit there and mine to a big pool. And what's nice about mining to a big pool is you're going to get payouts regularly, but your payouts are going to be smaller because there's more people on there submitting shares. So your payouts as a smaller miner will also be smaller. As you start scaling up, you'll notice that on the bigger pools, you start taking a small advantage. So, and then the third way of doing it is you get yourself onto a small pool that's only got a few miners on there and you try to either um, just submit the hash rate with them or you try to dominate that pool uh, where you become the number one miner on that pool to get the most amount of payouts off of that smaller pool. Now the smaller pools as a smaller miner is a dual-edged sword. So as a smaller miner you're gonna have more rewards submitted on there so when you get paid out you're gonna get paid out more. But but there's always that but so if you're on that smaller pool and they don't hit a block for a few days 
you're just going to have all these shares just racking up so that when you do finally hit a block, you're going to get a good payout, but you're going to have you might have more intervals between payouts on a smaller pool. So just kind of keep that in mind whenever you're choosing pools, uh, big pool, small pool, or just solo mining guys. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, it's like, so you can sit there and you can see that um, I've been mining on here for since uh, 11 o'clock last night. Um, got, I've mined uh, 19 Ryo so far. Not bad. Um, I don't know if it's good or bad at this point. Um, again, testing, guys. Testing. So, in at 11 o'clock tonight, I'm going to stop mining on the AMD, and I'm going to hook up my NVIDIA rig, and we're going to see what, what the difference is, see which one outperformed the other, and by how much, and then compare it to what to mine, guys. So, yo, if you guys got any questions whatsoever about Ryo coins, setting it up, or anything like that, definitely drop some comments in down below. I will certainly get to you and help you out. Not an issue, guys. Yo. And uh, if you guys are like wondering where you can get some cool swag, some good gear, um, definitely, guys, check out hotrodmining.com. There you can sit there and actually help support me. Yo. Boom. So from here, you can hop up on here. I've got some cool stuff and I will be continually, continuously adding to this. So this website is going to grow, guys. Um, so I could do consultations. I've got mining and gear. I've got clothing apparel, guys. Um, you can get some really cool hats, some shirts, some hot life sweatpants and shorts, all the way down to some really good PC equipment. I mean, check all this stuff out. Delta fans, 120 millimeter fans, memory. Um, some of the stuff's a little pricey, but some of the stuff is priced just right. So definitely come in here, check this stuff out. <clears throat> oh, and if you guys are wondering where to get some Arctic MX for, boom, right here on my website. I only use it myself so it's not like I'm sitting here getting paid to endorse any of this stuff I just use it dude um, so I hope that you guys found this video very informative if you have any comments questions or anything like that certainly drop them down in below or hit me up in my discord links are also down below guys um, all my links of every sort is always down below and while you're down there, guys, definitely smash that Lizzie like button, subscribe, share these videos with at least one person, please. And with that, guys, like always, I will see your smiling faces on the next one. Later. Ooh.